Hi, this is Roman Tube. Today on the Hunter Call of the Wild, I've come to test out what's supposedly the best red deer map. And the reason I'm saying this is because there's been lots of changes. It's Tiawara. You're all familiar with it. And if you're not, we're going to have a look at it now. Now, I haven't been here since the update. Basically, a lot of people used to come here because it was very good for red deer, but you had to hunt them at night. But with recent updates, they now are in the daytime drinking. And that's when people used to hunt them at night, drinking time. And it made it quite hard, but you got a lot of red deer. Well, now it's daytime and it's insane. This is so fun. And I think this is one of the best updates for Call of the Wild. And I'm just going to check it out now. So I've come to this lake. This is the very first lake I've come to. Here we go. Some of these lakes are going to be hard to pronounce and outpost, but it's insane. I'm not even joking. I've walked up to this outpost, walked to this lake. I've got these three zones, and the first few deer I've seen on the left, one of them is a legendary. Now, the amount of male red deer on this map is amazing, and... Uh, we're gonna have some great fun hunting this map. Now basically, I was hunting black bear for the great one. I've had a break. It's hard work, unless you get one luckily in the first few hundred bears. I'm uh, nearly 1200 bears now I collected and it becomes a bit of a chore. So I thought, you know what, like anyone should do, if, you, if you're getting a bit fed up with it, have a break, change it up. So that's why we've come here to Tiawara. I'm just showing you some of these locations where I've got red deer and where to hunt them and uh, we're going to have to visit them and I'll show you what they're like. I'm not actually going to be killing the deer, I'm just going to be showing you how many red deer there is on Tiawara now and why it's the best red deer map in Call of the Wild. Now the left hand lake where I've just been showing, I've got another legendary there. So we've got two legendaries, uh, we're doing herd management and we're shooting six upwards um, mainly and I can't believe how many red deer I'm shooting already I'm shooting about 40 to 50 per hour just casually and collecting them and um, it's working really well but the amount of sevens upwards I've probably got eight or nine mythicals on it already as well so I understand now why everyone was coming to Tiawara uh, since the update it is so much fun now this river system is probably another 20 males just along this bit now as you shoot from initial map spawns and um, They'll probably move around to certain lakes or areas But it's not even hard to manage and you don't really even need to manage because there's so many places with so many red deer You can just have fun and that's a good thing and that's what makes Silveridge Peak so much fun It's light. It's a beautiful map there's some really good species on there, but it's casual hunting and you can just have fun. And that's why it's the most popular map. Well, with this update, a lot of people might not have tried it yet. Come here and hunt red deer, because I think this is one of the best maps now. It really has gave me a reason to come to Tiawara. Uh, I haven't really been here at all since it came out. I did loads of videos on it, some guides, shot loads of diamonds on it. And then I don't really visit it that much, but now I've got a reason and it's red deer. So I understand why quite a few red deer great ones have been took because there's so many red deer and it's fun to play. And that's the key to a good map. It should be good looking, good species and fun to play. And this is definitely that. Now I'm using the 308 for the ones I want to collect and the 300 for just killing them dead. Now you might be thinking why are you using a 300 if it's not ethical it's because i just want them dead as quick as possible because we're trying to get respawns for the great one so hopefully it works out now this is the first lake i was on about i'm just going to look around on my right but mainly a lot of them on the mid to the mid left and you'll see how many males and this is only a tiny pond but this is great fun honestly it really gets fun um you just get casually just go round and uh, just bag some trophies and hopefully we might get something like a super rare now there's my first legendary I found but look how many males there is it's probably what 12 or 15 and I've just literally walked from the outpost and that's another good reason you don't need many tents to do this 
so you don't need loads of money normally you need about 250,000 to outfit a new map so if you ain't got a new map you ain't got to spend much here uh, most of the lakes ponds locations are right next to outposts so you can just walk to them I think we've got about three or four tents up at the most in a minute but there's the legendary the first one I spotted I'm not going to shoot him I'm going to leave him do herd management this is the other lake this one it's about the same size but the amount of red deer again it's insane uh, we was having a laugh in the fabled channel earlier and I was on about swapping from black bear having a break because it's sort of doing me head in a little bit actually I've had enough I've had about two weeks or whatever uh, every day all day hunting black bears nothing but black bears and obviously you want to see different content as well and uh, get ready because I've got some big news for you um, but we'll share that in the next video um, yeah I just thought I'd have a swap and I says oh you know what sod it let's just go to tier one right? I haven't been there I want to see what it's like and with the added water changes it's really it's really got me yes yeah, so I'm really having fun and uh, it's nice after a couple of weeks of grinding my arse off uh, it's nice to have a lot of fun and uh, relax a little bit so here we go so I just run down to this lake 6 till 10 30 is a drink time I've been starting about 8 or 8 30 now it's quite late into it but it doesn't matter because you're killing so many red deer right you're coming at the peak time when they're all there you ain't got to wait for them they're not traveling to the drink zone and you just kill so many red deer right so even if you've got to fast forward or travel it back a few hours doesn't matter because you're going to kill five or six red deer at least and it doesn't really matter and that's another good thing you're stacking cash fast about a grand a piece and um you'll see basically when you see all these red deer down here now i might spook some coming down to here but it don't really matter because there is so many but at least it's fun that's the thing so if you're a new player a casual player or you just want to have some fun come and visit tiawara or if you haven't got a diamond come here rare like I say, I'm hoping we get a super rare. I really do, and that's what I'm going to try and achieve. I'd love. I ain't even got a melanistic red deer, and I can't think of how many thousand red deer I've shot, and how many probably hundred uh, red deer diamonds I've got. But I still haven't got a melanistic, not one, um, for red deer. So hopefully that changes. Now, I don't know if you just noticed what I just seen there on the left. There was another legendary. So we now have three legendaries. I've been hunting here two hours probably total so i've shot about 60 70 red deer set up my map three legendaries so that's why everyone's coming here to hunt great ones at the minute because it's a lot of fun and uh, it seems like a lot of people are getting them as well so there you go sort of like the crab rack we call that one like lobster claws and we've got one over that side as well as I said, I'm shooting six or sevens upwards, but I think I might change that to seven upwards because there's so many level sixes and sevens that I don't think I even need to go any lower than that because there's so many males, high score males. So there we go. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. So uh, if you're struggling with trophy animals or you just want to have a laugh, come over to Tiawara. So let's look at the map again. Now this lake here, this lake here is also really good. I was asking, I said, like, is this any good up here for Red Deer? <laughs> Someone says, just go visit. And there you go. Look at that. It is very good. I put a tent up with that one, though, to get there. So we'll travel to this one. Try it out. Another good thing is, while you're looking for Red Deer, you'll see, as on the uh, loading screen here, you'll see uh, pigs. You'll see fallow deer. So there's lots of animals you'll see along the way as well. So it's great hunting. When I think of this outpost, I think of the feral goats. Um, I used to hunt them a lot from this outpost. Quite a few diamonds. But now it seems to be like the red deer mecca. It does make sense if you think about it. New Zealand, red deer. <laughs> I think that's where the world record's from. Absolute monsters. So it does make sense for it being like that. Maybe that's why it's been changed, I don't know. But uh, it does make sense. Now learn your approach basically certain approaches to certain lakes areas can affect animals so i'm just trying things out in a minute i'm just coming down to the lake and because there's so many at the minute i'm not very really too bothered when i first come to this lake initially there was loads on the right but it seems like they just move around a bit 
or maybe it's because um, I've shot a few already and they're mainly from like this right corner all the way round but as you can see lots of males just scan round quickly shoot jump on an ATV from right go all the way around collect I am collecting all my red deer as well but as you can see so many sevens sixes and sevens and then shoot them hopefully come back as a eight nine or a great run that's the hope anyway a lot of people are on about tactics and does certain things work I mainly just have fun uh, grinding now um, sometimes when you try different systems and stuff you get so stuck in like a rut and it's not fun really so just have fun that's the key if you have fun you'll uh, keep at it a lot longer and that's what I say and if it does get a bit annoying to you you get a bit frustrated have a break go hunt something else uh, just go chill but uh, this is definitely a lot of fun and I can see myself spending a lot of time here now big announcement I'm gonna tell you now I was thinking about this I was hoping fingers crossed but yes I've got my key for way of the hunter I've got early access can tell you that can't tell you any more than that but yes i've got early access to way the hunter so get ready lots of content is on the way very shortly so i can't say any more than that but you just know that i'm going to be covering it so if you want to see anything drop it in the comments let me know what you want to see and i'll try and get that filmed but yeah exciting times also end of the month call of the wild the angler is releasing so hopefully I'll be on that as well can't wait to uh, go fishing one of my most wanted things for video games for a very very long time I used to play a lot of fishing games before had a lot of fun but a lot of them turned out just to be too grinding like I say you've got to have fun it's a video game you're supposed to be chilling enjoying yourself having a laugh and like I say, the, the other fishing games I've played, and I've sunk many hours into them, they just turned out to be a grind fest. And uh, you know, I just want to have fun. And that's what I'm saying about this map, for example. But yeah, Call of the Wild, the Angler, comes out 31st of August. So I've got Way of the Hunter coming, footage for that, exclusive early content. And that releases on August the 16th. And then Call of the Wild, the Angler, 31st of August so it's gonna be a great month looking forward to it lots of content I'm gonna be very busy it's absolutely sweltering again we're just not used to it in the UK it's really humid at the minute it's not very high temperature wise it's like 25 27 but the humidity is like 80 85 and it, it feels like you could cut the air with a knife at the minute so it's not very nice recording in a, a hot box with all this humidity but at least we're having fun right so as you can see lots of males here the other pond seems to be better the first one visited on the left to this one but there's still a lot of males here what we could do with i was thinking about this earlier as well you know the uh, water transitions um where you can travel basically i think we should have them on here i know there was all about putting them on other locations but tier water could really do with them or a boat even We've got boats in the angler. What about boats in the Hunter Corner Wild? I think that should happen. It would be brilliant. Imagine if I shoot one across the other side of the lake from here. You've got to wait five minutes for it to come over. If you had the water transport system, you could just go straight to it, collect it, save you five minutes. And imagine if I kill five or six on there and they go in the water. I've got to wait for them all. So if we had the water trans um, transport system on here, especially on like the river here as well um, it would help save a lot of time and um, it would be very useful or both <laughs> I'm happy for anything that will save time and uh, just let you just have fun so next location for Red Deer so this is a top left hand corner as I was saying I'd, I've never visited here for Red Deer I used to come here for Feral Goats I think that's about it when I used to play it when it first came out but uh, never for Red Deer and with this update, I'm coming here about half eight, nine o'clock. And uh, you'll see again, just loads of red deer. So I might shoot some. Shall we shoot some? Mm. 
It's more about showing the locations and showing players who haven't visited here since the update, just to give you an idea how good it is. So you've got locations like Hirschfelden, which is pretty hard, pretty dense to hunt them, and not many people really go there, but some people do like the denseness. You know what I mean? There's a map for everyone. Some people like hunting in thick vegetation, some don't, some like good visibility and uh, good lighting. Before this update, I'd say my favourite Red Deer map would be Quattro Kalinas. Um, I've had so much fun there, it's great fun to hunt. And the only reason I didn't used to come to Tiawara was because you had to hunt at night. And um, I thought killing thousands of deer in the night is a long time and eye strain, whatever, do you know what I mean? It's not as fun. And uh, if you can do it in the daytime, there you go, it takes that stress away. And guess what? They've updated this. And I'm sorry to say this, Quattro Kalinas, you were my favourite Red Deer map, but now this is Tiawara is the best Red Deer map period now with these changes. So remember 6 till 10.30, give it a time, we've got a little, well, crab rat myth there, mythical. So, yeah, looks stunning, plays well, great fun, best Red Deer map period. Are you grinding for a great one at the minute, whether it's a black bear, great one, red deer, great one, white tail, great one, let me know how you're going on. Have you had any luck? This is one of the locations right now. Just showing you the need zone times as well. Normally there's like 30 minutes difference at certain locations because the red they have to travel some locations further than others. But uh, just showing you where they are and where I'm visiting at the moment. Now you don't have to grind all these. I think you could just pick some of the bigger lakes and just grind those and just rotate and um, just have fun. But um, that bottom lake there is quite good as well. There's probably eight or 10 red deer on there. That river system is insane. It looks so beautiful with the water shimmering, the river as you walk down there as well. In the daytime, it's so good. So we've gone over locations where to hunt them. I'm going to show you an image in a minute of all my hot spots as well where I like to hunt and where the red deer are. Also we've gone over need zone times, when to hunt them during drink need zone times, 6 till 10.30 that covers it all but I start at 8, 8.30 till the end of need zone drink zone time so you give them a, enough time to get to where they need to be. Weapon wise to hunt them I'm using a 308 to collect and a 300 just to kill for respawns. Right, these are my favourite locations to hunt red deer on Tiawara. Now the white areas are where I normally hunt, but the yellow areas are the key ones I really focus on. So make sure you check those yellow ones especially. So today we've been making a red deer guide for Tiawara National Park. It's the best map for red deer period. It really is that good. I hope it helps you out. I'm Romnick Chu. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels and thanks for watching. Bye bye.